The Galactic Free Press Daily Update, 6-21-12. Bringing humanity home, energy and event update. The surrender, removal of the powers that were, is eminent. Greetings, love beings. Welcome to the three days of the wobble. As a result, you may be feeling very off-centered and in a daze. This solstice has initiated the higher self's connections. This occurred through the balance of the divine masculine and feminine energies event. During this wobble, the planet and humanity will be adjusting to these higher energies of pure balanced harmonics which are flowing in. This will be greatly affecting the consciousness on the planet and will be pushing all which is not real right up to the surface quickly for release. We are well aware of many dates and timelines which have been given to you. Just because we go past the timeline of events which has been given does not mean these events will not manifest. All divine decrees must manifest as love's law is the only real law on this planet. These are from the creator himself. These divine decrees were placed specifically on the higher grid, which is connected to the planet and will now bear fruit. This was quoted by Greg Giles, who summed up uh, Drake's last interview. Drake stated that the extraterrestrial presence is indeed real, and they are indeed here in our world at this time, and are taking an active role in the arrests of the members of the criminal cabal. One of the more interestingly statements by Drake was that the extraterrestrials have issued a deadline for the arrest of the members of the criminal cabal, and that deadline was June 21st, 2012. Beyond that date, Drake claims that the extraterrestrials have stated they will begin to make these arrests themselves. Drake went on to say that the extraterrestrials have stated to the Earth allies, members of the Pentagon, CIA, militaries, and militias in favor of our new system, that time is running very short, and much work is needed <clears throat> to be accomplished to allow the extraterrestrials to assist us in many projects that will allow for a smooth transition as possible for our planet and humanity cooperating many recent Galactic Federation of Light Communications. Drake also states that the extraterrestrials stated that the obstacle of the cabal needs to be removed to allow the galactic commands to assist humanity through this transitional period ahead. End of quote. According to Cobra, the cabal is still trying to hang on to their illusionary control. This is not surprising for us as we have been dealing with them for years and we know how stubborn they are, even when they know time is up. We knew from our meetings on the ships last night of a delay, as they had asked for papers. These are being given to them. We did say to them that all light events will manifest by divine decree, and there is nothing which can stop this. Cobra had this to share today. It is obvious at this point that the cabal as a whole does not want to surrender. The plan of the mass arrest continues. This time of negotiations has not been spent in vain. The cabal has been given its chance. The generous offer has been refused. This protocol has finally allowed the positive ET forces to start taking some action. According to the Galactic Codex, Section 4.2, the Galactic Confederation has an unalienable and unconditional right to the implementation of the Galactic Codex and of conquering the areas of galactic codex violation with military force if necessary. This subsection gives a legal basis for the liberation of the occupied planets with military force. The military forces of the Confederation remove or give assistance to the local positive military in the removal of representatives of the dark forces and to set the hostages free. High-ranking members of the cabal need to have proof that Operation Stardust 2 is real. This proof can be arranged. I would still suggest them to surrender before the event takes place or even during the event itself. Those that surrender and cooperate with the light forces will be treated with much more forgiveness. I would also like to stress that most of the members of the cabal families are not guilty and need healing and not condemnation. As I have said many times, 
I do not know when the event will happen. No human being knows, only our source does. Yes, it can happen in a few days, but no guarantees. I had been given intel years ago that the deadline was April 2012, and now it is June. The only thing I know 100% is that it will happen. I will report the events as they unfold. End of quote. No matter what, the surrender or removal of the powers that were are imminent. This is Love's planet. The upcoming planetary activations will really assist us. We will be given 24-hour notice prior to their complete surrender and removal, and then a series of events and announcements will begin. Currently, we are preparing the entire planet for a huge energetic lift-up, which will occur during the planetary activations on June 23rd, beginning in the United States and spreading to power points across the planet. This part of the divine plan will be backed by the Agarthans and humanity's star families personally. Gaia's portal, massive transformation is at hand. The energetics of this time is not optimized <clears throat> for massive transformation. Those enabled in all dimensional domains will ride smoothly through this period. Be prepared to fly when you step out the, out of the door of your house into thin air and enjoy this ride, Pegasus. Decreed by heaven, all divine decrees of love are to manifest. Planetary activation initiated. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. <clears throat> and transmission of love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground crew team. <clears throat>